In today's video, we're gonna explore my favorite Mac apps for social media managers in five different categories. Time saving, organize, create, manage, and communicate. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I recently updated my laptop to the new Apple M1 MacBook Pro. While I was setting up my new MacBook, I thought, why don't I just share with you guys some of my favorite Mac apps that I use on a daily basis to keep me organized, productive, while getting things done as a social media manager. There will be timestamps and links in the description box, so feel free to skip around the video if you want. All right, let's kick things off with the time saving category. And there are three apps that help me save a ton of time. The first one is called Timing. So Timing is a game changing time tracking app. As a social media manager, it's so important to keep track of how much time you spend on each client because that's gonna affect your pricing. And with this app, it completely removes the guesswork and tells you to the minute what you've done and how much time you spend on what automatically. So once you install the app on your MacBook, it will automatically track everything for you all the time in the background without you even doing anything. At the end of the day, you can see how everything has gone, like what apps you've used, what document, what website, and how how long you spend on each and if you want to you can go through the list and assign everything to projects all right the next one is called swish now this one is really cool it's basically a window snapping tool for mac how it works is you can control your apps and windows using your mac's trackpad or your magic mouse with swipe pinch tap and hold gestures want to maximize the window that's just a simple swiping up it does take a little bit of time to get used to the trackpad movement but once you've gotten used to it swish can really speed up your workflow and save you a ton of time another really cool time saving app is called alfred if i had to sum up alfred into one sentence it would be it's a mac os spotlight on steroids it allows you to search for literally anything you can think of with a simple shortcut, which means when you enter certain keywords on Alfred, it will launch applications, find files on your Macs or website. Alfred also learns how you use your Mac and prioritize results based on your search behaviors. Next, I'm gonna talk about the apps in the organized category. The first one is Notion. Now, if you're into productivity, you should heard a lot about Notion already. For me, I would describe Notion as my second brain where I manage and organize most of my projects. From writing down any new ideas I have, setting goals and executing my day-to-day -day schedule to scripting and managing all of my YouTube videos, there are just endless ways that you could use Notion. Lucky for you, I've made a detailed video on how I use Notion to set goals and execute plans. So if you're interested, definitely check it out right here. All right, this next app is perfect for social media managers. Now, if you're someone that's still using the good old Google spreadsheet for your content calendar, then I highly recommend you to look into something called Airtable. So now Airtable is kind of like spreadsheet on steroids. It basically takes the best aspect of spreadsheet and database and put them together. So if you want to learn exactly how to use Airtable to create a better content calendar, organize content better, and just have an overall better client approval process, you should definitely sign up for my program, Social Nomad Academy. I have an entire module dedicated to how you can do that. So details in the description box below and don't forget to sign up. And finally, in terms of file organizations, I use Google Drive. From client's file assets to any documents, you name it, they are in my Google Drive because I can access them basically on any devices as long as I log into my Google account. Also, I can share things easily with my teams and clients. So I love Google Drive. The next category is create. Now these are a few apps that I use on a regular basis for any type of content creation. The first one is of course Canva. This tool should be no strangers to a lot of social media managers out there. You can use it for any sort of graphic designs and you don't even need to have a graphic design background because it just gives you a ton of beautifully designed templates. Now I actually have the Canva Pro which is the paid version of Canva and I think this upgrade is so worth with it. With the pro version, I have access to all the templates, unlimited uploads, premium stock video photos, audios and graphic elements, more than 100 gigabytes of storage, unlimited folders to organize your design with better collaboration tools and advanced time-saving features. So I definitely recommend you guys to upgrade to Canva Pro if you find yourself using Canva a lot. So click the link in my description box below if you want to try Canva Pro for free. 
Next, we have Adobe Creative Clouds for more advanced content creations, and there are a few apps in there. Um, the first one is, of course, Photoshop. I use Photoshop a lot for um, any type of advanced photo manipulations. Lightroom CC, of course, for photo editing and touch up. Um, I use Premiere Pro a lot for all of my YouTube video editings and any type of video editing really. Last but not least within the create category is an app called Grammarly. For those of you who don't know, Grammarly is a writing tool that helps you check for different types of errors including spell checks, plagiarism, writing style and, and stuff like that. I've been using Grammarly since I was in university and man like this app has been a lifesaver in terms of helping me avoid many many embarrassing typos and grammatical errors. So highly recommend that. Next, let's move on to my managed apps, and there are quite a few of them. Now, the first one we have is Buffer. Buffer is what I use to schedule social media content for my social media accounts and my client's social media accounts. Now, even though there are tons of third-party social media scheduling tools out there, but why I choose Buffer over others is because it allows me to schedule content for a lot of different social media platforms, such as Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest, and it's quite a affordable uh, compared to other scheduling tools that can do the same. Um, also when I use Buffer on my laptop, I usually just use their web version of it because unfortunately they don't have a Mac app, but they do have a mobile app as well. Coming up next is an app called Grid. As we all know, there's no desktop app for Instagram. There's only the mobile version of it, right? So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just don't want to bust out my phone to access Instagram, especially when I'm working on my laptop. So Grid basically solved that problem for me. With Grid, you can pretty much do everything that a mobile Instagram app can do, including uploading stories. Um, I'm still testing out this app. It's kind of new for me, so I've updated on how it performs. The next one is Facebook Business Suite. So if you're a social media manager that specialize in Facebook and Instagram as your main platforms, you should definitely bookmark this website on your browser or download the mobile app. What's amazing about the Facebook Business Suite is that it is an all-in-one platform that allows you to manage business accounts across Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. You can see notifications, messages, comments, and other activities taking place across Facebook and Instagram right at the same place. You can also set up personal life saved replies here in order to respond to common customer inquiries. And finally, we have the apps for communications. The first batch of apps are your typical communications apps like WhatsApp, Skype, and Facebook Messengers. I love having these apps on my MacBook because again, I can't be bothered to take out my phone when I need to uh, message someone. I want to just do it right there directly on my MacBook. Like I said, I don't know about you guys, but every time when I check my phone, I just get so distracted. So I'm super grateful to have these apps because they allow me to still do the normal messaging without necessarily having to use my phone. The next one is called Grained. I think we're all familiar with what Zoom is thanks to COVID at this point, but you probably never heard about Grain, and I think you should definitely consider using Grain alongside your Zoom app, especially when you need to take notes during a Zoom meeting. Um, what Grain does is that it automatically records your Zoom call and it can transcribe them. So let's say if I'm having a Zoom call with someone, I know there's going to always gonna be a transcript of it that's available. And even while I'm doing the Zoom call, I can take notes within the Grain app and then it flags all the points where I was taking notes in the transcript. Last but not least is this app called Spark. Now Spark is my favorite third-party email management app for Mac because it just has a great combination of powerful features and a clean, well-designed user interface. Not only you can manage multiple email accounts within Spark, what makes Spark stand out is the Smart Inbox, which collects emails from all over your email accounts and automatically organize them into categories like notification, newsletters, personal, and scene. And this shows you the real emails from real people first, so you can respond to the things that are important and save the rest for later. If you've gotten this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. You might like to check out this video right here, which is all of my favorite tools for social media managers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.